everybody and welcome to the last part of our interior god race tutorial uh, as you can see i've rendered a scene it took about uh, 30 minutes on my computer uh, it was 55 passes at uh, 1280 by 720 resolution there's still a little bit of noise here and there and but considering uh, what's the shading complexity of our scene i think it's a pretty good render time uh, so <clears throat> right now I'm gonna go and save save out the scene. Uh, let's call it <coughs> chamber .tiff. and this last part will be again just a quick, dirty, destructive post processing. So first thing I'm gonna do is to denoise the image. I'm actually gonna duplicate the layer and uh, i'm doing it because uh, once we add contrast and everything then uh, it it may noise may pop up again so i'm gonna eliminate it right here in this face let's try like this okay now i'm gonna make a layer mask i'm gonna make it uh, just 50% gray so we're denoising the image a little bit by uh, blending basically the denoised layer with uh, the original one and now I'm gonna make my brush completely white and wherever there are stronger pool pools of noise I'm gonna just paint the maximum opacit opacity of the denoised layer a little bit of here and a little bit of noise here a little bit here and here and that's that's basically it so uh, now I'm gonna quickly duplicate the layer overlay it through the soft light to get some contrast not so much like 60% uh, I'm gonna try to get some more of the cold tones into the shadows like this and warm tones into the highlights yep and in the mid tones i'm gonna shift magenta a little bit more towards the green like this okay i think this is the kind of scene that could really benefit from some uh, subtle chromatic aberration so Let's introduce a little bit of it, maybe a little bit of vignette as well. Not too much though, because uh, the corners of the image are already quite dark. So let's let's not overdo it. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna probably do is to select all the highlights and create some nice bloom effect like this. Uh, that's maybe too much more like this okay I'm gonna uh, sharpen the image overall so we get some of the definition back but again not overdoing it too much yeah uh, this this looks so far so good I'm thinking about what else could I do push it a little further let's let's try to tweak the curves to add just a little bit more of the contrast uh, let's let's try to go here and there's maybe some dust dust image let's put it in here scale it you can see it's tinted a little bit blue so let's add hue saturation only to this layer shift the hue to like orange -ish. merge layers set it to screen compress it a little bit pop out the dust here great and i'm gonna create layer mask make it black 
take a soft brush and just around those highlights and windows I'm gonna I'm gonna create a little bit of the dust that's kind of being shined through by by the god rays this may be too much extreme like like this okay maybe soften it up here last thing I usually do is just duplicate a layer do Photoshop or the contrast and or the tone it will give you some slightly alternative version of the image and I usually kind of blend in between the Photoshop uh, Photoshop version and my version like this and uh, yeah I I would consider this image down maybe maybe just boost the curve a little bit further to make it just slightly brighter and uh, I think this is it for the tutorial the, the tutorial this is our result and I hope you like it I hope you find it useful and I'll see you again uh, in the next tutorial thank you and goodbye